Jonathan Open Channel. Checking in. Jonathan here with another home gym equipment review for you. This time it is a battle of the bars, the safety squat bars. We are going to pit the brand new Titan Fitness Safety Squat Bar against the other brand new Rep Fitness Safety Squat Bar. I recently got them in and did first impression videos and I got so many questions demanding that I compare the two. I got thousands of requests. Okay, hundreds of requests. Well, okay, 10 requests, but for me, 10 requests for a comparison video is a lot. And you know, we like to give the subscribers what they want. So today we are gonna glove up. We are gonna pop the hood, check the oil and do a head to head comparison against every potential category you can think of. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, Welcome aboard. I drop new home gym equipment reviews every Thursday at 1 p.m. Category number one, and that is the packaging. We buy something, we expect it to show up in perfect condition. That's not always the case. Delivery individuals, especially with heavy equipment, they are overworked, underpaid, they're on the clock. And a lot of times your home gym equipment takes an absolute beating before it arrives at your doorstep. Titan Fitness, the box showed up and it looked like it went 10 rounds with Mike Tyson in his head. Day. Thankfully, nothing inside was damaged, but when I did the unboxing, I noticed that they used some pretty thin cardboard with very little reinforcements on there. Conversely, Rep Fitness ships in two boxes. They have the pad shipped separately, and the box that they shipped the bar in looked like it could get run over with a tank and still come back for more. It had a lot of reinforcement, and it absolutely stood out as being preferred. There's so many categories to go over, but we are going to jump right into the one that most people use as their number one factor when choosing one item over another, and that's price, because it's all about that bottom dollar. Titan Fitness comes in at $300. Rep Fitness comes in at $330, so it is a 10% increase compared to Titan Fitness. However, usually when it, the price point is this close, within five or 10%, I try to pick uh, a bar that is gonna be better for my home gym and try to avoid or ignore the price point just because you're going to own the bar for quite some time. But in this category, Titan Fitness has to take the cake. The next two categories are weight and length. Titan Fitness weighing in at 60 pounds and has a length of 90.5 inches. Rep Fitness weighs in at 68 pounds and has a 92.5 inch length. Um, these things don't matter. However, if you've never squatted with the squat safety bar, you're gonna have to check that ego just a little bit. The extra weight on these bars compared to a barbell does factor in. And if you're not used to it, trying to throw on the same amount of weight on each side will throw you off mentally. As far as the overall length, I don't think it's as big of a factor unless you have extremely short ceilings and you have an extremely short workout space. The coating on a barbell absolutely matters. It is the number one factor that indicates how well that bar is gonna hold up to everyday use and the environmental issues like humidity that it's going to face. Titan Fitness shaft coated in black zinc with Rep Fitness coming in with black powder coating. And I have to give the tip of the cap to Rep Fitness by and large. The black powder coating feels good, feels thick, feels durable, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna scratch or get marked up very easily. Unfortunately, the Titan Fitness Black zinc doesn't even look like it was put on very well, and I noticed scratches almost immediately with regards to my little use that I've put it through thus far. Handles, the one thing that connects your hands to the bar itself. I will tell you Titan and Rep both have very good handles that are above your typical safety squat bar handles. They're both very usable, and I would say they're both phenomenal. Titan Fitness comes in with a honeycomb handle that doesn't that has some really good grip. It doesn't get slippery when wet, when you're sweating all over it, and is absolutely a step up from your typical fake plastic handles that you'll see on a lot of the budget squat safety bars. Now, Rep Fitness says, hold my beer. They've got a hard chrome handle, and this thing is an absolute juggernaut. It is absolutely 100% overkill, but hey, why not? It absolutely feels different. It's not like any other handle I've seen on a squat safety bar. And as soon as you grab it, you know that it matters. 
When it comes to pads, Titan Fitness and Rep Fitness both use one uniform pad, which is the preferred method on a squat safety bar. Now, both of these pads are very good. They do offer some good support and they don't, the foam in there does not crush or compact very much when in use. But we are splitting hairs here. So I will tell you straight away in my personal opinion, I thought that the Titan Fitness internal foam was better. I thought it was a little bit thicker and I also thought that it compacted a little bit less for the weight that I was throwing on it. However, Rep Fitness, the outer pad itself in terms of feel, felt better. It felt a little bit more professional, a little bit less slippery, and it felt like it had higher quality. Now, is this splitting hairs? Absolutely, but that's why we're doing this comparison. Sleeves are important on any barbell, even a safety squat bar, because that's where the weight goes on and comes off time after time after time. They take a lot of wear and tear, and Titan Fitness, their sleeves are not attached. They're not welded. They are screwed on. So when you get them initially, you've got to screw them in. And I don't like or dislike that design as far as as far as durability, I think that screw will hold up over time and maybe in a year or two it might loosen up and you could just screw it down a little bit tighter. Unfortunately, they use a black zinc coating on their sleeves and that rubs off almost immediately. I haven't had this bar for more than three weeks and frankly, um, the sides look like they've been chewed up rather significantly. The other thing that is super annoying to me, but not to some of you, is the fact that they are ribbed. <laughs> I know some people love that ribbed feeling for your pleasure. Unfortunately, it makes a ton of racket every time you load on a plate or take it off. And for me, it's something I just don't like. Now, Rep Fitness's sleeves, they're as smooth as a baby's bottom. Their weight does go on quietly and come off quietly. They are a hard chrome, which I think in the long run will hold up significantly better than the black zinc. And after two and a half weeks of putting plates on and taking them off, I don't see any scratches or noticeable wear and tear on the sleeves. Camber drop and balance. How do they stack up? Titan Fitness coming in with a five inch camber drop. Rep Fitness coming in with a 5.5 inch camber drop. Does it matter? Was it noticeable? Absolutely not. They both had very good balance. I was able to do Hatfield squats with both of them where I didn't have any hands on the bar itself and they felt very good in terms of balance and comfort on my shoulders. I don't know if the extra half inch for reps drop versus Titans has a long-term effect for those of you that are big time power lifters, but for me, it just wasn't noticeable. And now it's time for the last category, where these are manufactured. And I know for some of you, you don't care. And I know for a lot of you, you only wanna buy American. And for many of you, you're on a budget, so you're just going with the best bar for your buck. But we gotta talk about it. Uh, Titan Fitness, historically known for making stuff overseas. Unfortunately, they actually stepped it up this time. So we got to tip the cap. We got to give them a thumbs up and we got to let them win this category. This is made not only in America, this is made with American made steel. And I love to see that. And I hope that more companies go that way. I know that for many companies who've been manufacturing overseas for so many years, it's hard to turn that cruise liner. But Titan Fitness has started, they got a barbell, and now they've got this uh, safety squat bar made in the US. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my final thoughts and which safety squat bar I prefer over these two. I'll be honest with you, straight off the top, I wanted to prefer the Titan Fitness Safety Squat Bar. It's American made, American steel, and I wanna see more and more companies making stuff here in the United States. And for $300, not only does it come in cheaper, but it's American made. Unfortunately, even though they made it in America, they didn't make a superior product. And I'm biased, I am very American biased, no shame on that, and I don't, plan to hide it at all. I want to not only see American made products, I want to see fantastic American made products. And this one just isn't it. I have to imagine, I have to think and say that they could have made the bar much better, but it would have factored into the price point. I assume that Titan Fitness made the bar as they did because they had to keep the price so low and that any type of improvements that I would have clearly made with the coating um, would have just simply put the price point well above what people wanted to pay. Conversely, Rep Fitness, they have a thing of beauty. The handles are 
like no other you're going to find out there, at least that I've seen. The sleeves are smooth and they're hard chrome. The black powder coating is thick and it feels good. The welds are solid. You can't even tell they were welds because they're so clean. And the shipping package all comes in at only 10% more of the price than Titan Fitness. The only caveat is that it is made overseas, but since most home gym equipment, unfortunately, is made overseas, it's just something that we have to live with until we see not only American-made goods coming in with lower prices and higher quality. Can it be done? I don't know. I'm a little too far removed from the design and manufacturing process, but I like to believe we can have our cake and eat it too. I want to know from you. Comment down below which of these bars do you prefer and which of these bars are you going to be picking up in the near future. Hopefully the price points stay right where they are. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are officially Chip and Dale. We are best friends. Thanks for making it to the end. Don't forget to give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Remember, don't forget, remember every Thursday at 1 p.m. I am dropping new home gym equipment reviews for you. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.